Alrighty guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at the DXF units and um, one or two other import options. And this all before TrueCut already works. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise we're back in the program here. And now I apologize for my software be looking a bit different in the process. Uh, we're having this thing called load shedding here in South Africa. So um, I've had to change my workflow just a little bit here. But um, it seems to be working fine for now. Now also just on a side note, this is a mini series on the file parameter settings. And uh, I will leave relevant links in the description so you guys can follow along. Now, when it comes to the actual um, DAXF units, um, here, if we want to set that up, we want to go to our main menu on top, go to config, and then we go to file parameter settings or para settings. Let me just move my magnifying glass here so it is not in the way. Let me throw it here right at the bottom. So now, once again, config, file para settings, and then there we go. So with this dialog box, you'll see the second um, main area here is um, DXF units. Previously, we looked at the PLT precision. So under the DXF units, we've got here the actual units, what you can choose from, which is millimeters, centimeters, inches, or custom. Quite nice that they've got a custom option there. And then under that, we've got two options called import DXF text info and import DXF point. Now with the first one, if this is unchecked, then what I'll do is I'll import the information of the graphics, but not the actual text itself. So you will see by default, this is um, deselected. So I would recommend just keep it like that unless you want the information of the text as well. Then import DXF point. This, if this is enabled, it will import, uh, import the actual point information as well for the DXF file. So it's rod simple. And uh, yeah, that concludes this little video. So if we had to head here to um, softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover. And also you can isolate your search here on the top right. If you do not find the videos you're looking for, just simply go here, request a training video, fill in the mini form, let us know for which software, and then we will do our best to try and make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching, and cheers.